Yes. Okay. So we can estimate from back of the null calculations what kind of power we have if we have uh, you know estimate of activity factor and something like that. Are you able to see this? So here in this, when we are considering activity factor 0 0.1 and 0 0.02, we had considered some kind of okay, okay, this much glitches will only be there, right? And after that, we have calculated the activity factor. Right? Yes. And now, if suppose the 6.1 is beyond our power budget. Our power specification said 4 watts. What do you do? Of these, all these things, what can you re reduce? Frequency. We can reduce actually all the three things. You can reduce activity factor. How would you reduce activity factor? You will say, I will gate the devices. I will put NAND gates in some places and enable only part of the circuit and not other parts of the circuit. So if I reduce the activity factor per circuit, I will be able to reduce power. I can reduce capacitances, at least the capacitances that toggle. I can use smaller devices. I can operate at a lower voltage. I can operate at a lower frequency. All these things I can reduce to be able to reduce dynamic power. So and how yeah, please. So how we are reducing the activity factor? Can you please tell me? Okay. Uh, let us look at activity factor in little more detail. It will become abundantly evident to you how to reduce activity factor. Yes, sir. So let us look at how activity factor is estimated. So let us say that there is a probability PI of a node I being equal to one. Huh? So the probability of a PI bar then is the, that is the probability of node i being equal to 0 is 1 minus pi. Hmm? And activity factor is pi into pi bar. If there is a completely random data, then what happens to p? Any node can be 0 or it can be 1. Huh? For a completely random data, the probability of a node being at 1 is 0.5. Are you with me? Yes, it can be, it can either be zero or one. That's our point. So the probability of a node being one is 0. 0.5. So the alpha in a completely random data is 0. 0.25. Hmm? However, uh, data is not completely random at all times. Huh? So what do we, what do we say? We say that many times a data will have, for example, if you're uh, talking about bank accounts, uh, the MSVs will largely be zeros. Hmm? Uh, if you're talking about something else, again, you know, mostly MSVs are something that you can fairly call as zeros. Hmm? And also because data will propagate through AND gates and OR gates, they have, which have lower activity factor, we'll just see why, uh, a typical design would have an activity factor of 0 0.1. Hmm? So why do AND and OR gates have lower activity factor? Just look at this. Let us say it's AND 8 AND 2. What is the probability of an output of AND 2 being 1? It is a multiplication of probability of A being 1 and the probability of B being 1. one Am more. I right? Yes. So the probability of and 2 being 1 is 1 by 4. And 3 is output being 1 is 1 by 8. Eight. And you can calculate for all the gates. Hmm? So now, if I have a chain of gates, let us say. Huh? If I have a chain of gates, and I say the inputs have an activity factor of 0.5. What will be the activity factor at, uh, say, N1, N2, and Y? Can you quickly calculate and tell me? What is the activity factor at uh, N1? What is P at N1? So 1 by 4? Hmm? 3 
the probability of uh, node n1 being 1 is actually 3 by 4 it is not an and gate it's an nand gate hai na yeah okay yeah yes yeah. so alpha is 3 by 16 now given that what is the probability of this output the p over here y being 1 One by sixteen. One by sixteen, yeah. because yeah. both the inputs have to be zero. See, there is a bubble over here. So the activity factor at y is fifteen by two fifty six. Much less than point one, actually, is it not? So for an AND four, the activity factor is less than point one. Clearly, less than point one. And three, it's one by eight point one two five, and so on. So, sir, yes. So, calculations. So, can you just go through these calculations once, sir? It's not complicated. Okay, tell me what is the probability of uh, so n one will be one when a is zero or b is zero. Am I right? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. So, in how many cases is a or one of them zero? There are four combinations of a possible, a and b possible. Yes, sir. How many cases are there where one of them will be zero? Three. So the probability is three by four. Yes, sir. If p is three by four, then p bar is one by, one four. by four. Yes, sir. Then alpha is one by four into three by four, three by sixteen. So alpha was a uh, p into p bar. P bar. Okay. Right. Yes. Hmm. Similarly, what happens over here? At the inputs, whatever I had p over here is going to invert. Ho jayega because there is a bubble. So the inputs have a probability of one by four and one by four. For this AND gate, for the AND gate, the output is one when both the inputs are one. So one by four into one by four. So the probability of the output over here being one is one by sixteen. And then sir, P bar is. Sir, बड़ी bubble लगा रखा है ना यहाँ पे नोटिंग. हाँ तभी तो यहाँ पे three by four को one by four ले लिया ना यहाँ पे bubble के बाद. Okay. ठीक है. Hmm. So, so p into p bar becomes fifteen by two fifty six. So yes. So actually, we have two bubbles. In, like uh, after that, so we can just cancel them out, right? Like for finding yeah, one yeah. directly, we can just say like uh, yes. we are going directly and just say it will be one. Yeah. So yeah. see, we've gone through this because I can give you any circuit and you have to find the activity factor there. Can I not? Yeah. So I want you to get some practice on that. That's why we did this. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yes. Sir, what if the two input gates are different, sir? I mean, like here we have an a NAND gate. So what if we have a, a NOR gate or something? Yeah, do it. You will find out. Sir, but it is not a hypothetical question. Just do it. Solve it. In the second stage, sir, when we get uh, the probability over here would be different. I mean, like they would. Yeah. So seen. the number would be three by twenty-four. Something would come. Let it come. Just do it, na. Just solve it. Why are you worried? Okay. Is the method clear? Yes. yes. Just you apply the method. So, so last me fifteen by two fifty six. Kaise aaya sir? Ye clear nahi hua mujhe. One by sixteen aa gaya hai sir. Ha. So what is p bar? What is the probability of y being zero? Fifteen by sixteen. Fifteen by sixteen. So p into yeah. p bar is. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Rajnish. Sir, uh, sir, suppose if in the top NAND, after the top NAND, we add a, a same a same two input NAND. After that, means a just a inverter. After that, so sir, okay. this 
थ्री बाय फोर विल बिकम वन बाय फोर जस्ट सिंपल सिंपल जस्ट यस दैट्स व्हाट द बबल मींस ना दैट्स व्हाट द बबल रिप्रेजेंट्स ओके सर ओके वही तो हमने करा ना यस और सर जैसे अगर वाई में भी लगा दें आगे तो वो भी वन माइनस वन बाई सिक्सटीन हो जाएगा यस बट द एक्टिविटी फैक्टर विल स्टिल कंटिन्यू टू बी वो तो सर पी टू पी बार हो जाएगा सर यस और यस अगर सर टू आउटपुट आ रहे तो उसके लिए वैसे कुछ नहीं है ना मतलब नहीं वैसा तो कोई केस नहीं है सॉरी सर जैसे यहाँ पे वाई है मतलब ये सिंगल आउटपुट है इसीलिए इसको पी इंटू पी बार कर रहे हैं एनी नोड एन वन के लिए हमने पी इंटू पी बार करा था अच्छा मतलब यस अल्फा फॉर एनी नोड इज पी इंटू पी बार ऑलवेज यस दैट इज द फॉर्मूला Probability of a node being equal to one has been called as p Raghav. Okay. okay. It would depend on its inputs. Yes. Faisal. Sir, if it's an uh, OR gate in place of this uh, AND gate, so yeah. Our uh, condition is what? You tell me. Yeah, not able to calculate actually. That's why I'm asking. So for an OR gate. In how many cases will the output be one? If A and B were three by four. So yes, that is what it is then. है ना? You have the answer. इसका फिर alpha three by sixteen ही होता है. Yes. Okay. 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 Vishal. Uh, so sir, if we change like uh, these and and gate, and gates to and gates, uh, will the alpha Change or I think it will be same, right? Alpha would remain actually same. Yeah, and and, the... and 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 there is just one inverter missing, na? Yeah, so sir, it will the alpha is basically depending on the probability of it being and it not being. So you see, it is as that. simple as it is as simple as the G concept, the logical effort concepts that we looked at. What yeah. is the logical effort of a gate? G. G is independent of the size of the gate. Yeah. So, if the topology, if the functionality is of anding, whether you put an and or not, put an inverter there or not, the because the functionality is anding, the kind of alpha factor would be like this only. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what do you do? You say that to reduce the activity factor, I will put an enable logic. Such that uh, when the enable logic is let us say zero, hmm, the output there will not toggle. So if the output doesn't toggle, I save power. Okay. So clock gating is done to reduce so reduce activity factor so that you save power. Then. How do you reduce capacitance? By you know the logical effort method, we reduce uh, the number of stages. We use smaller gates. Uh, we do good floor planning so that wire capacitance reduces. Uh, we also discuss that for long for large capacitances, have the complex gates in the beginning and buffers or inverters in the end, so that you do not toggle complex gates too much. Or the complex gates are not very large in size. so all these things that we did for the logical effort method can be applied here again to reduce overall capacitances in your circuit